What's going on, everybody? Thank you for tuning in to the Business D right here, right now on My Fierce Swings Radio. We have the incredible, talented Jacket Edge on with us. How's it going, fellas? Good, man. Good. Thanks for having us. No hey, doubt. Love that intro. Love that intro. Incredible. No doubt. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I want to say thank y'all because I, I grew up listening to y'all music, so it's an honor to have y'all on the show. Oh, we appreciate that, man. No doubt, no doubt. So let's get right into it. I know you guys got the new single, Hope Out. Um, tell me about how you guys came up with the approach for this um, record. Uh, well, um, I think, you know, I think sometimes when, you, when you're when you not out in terms of having, you know, a product in the marketplace, um, you know, you kind of sit back and you, you know, you look at the, you look at the, the game for what it is right now at the moment. Mm-hmm. And I felt like, I mean, I think we all felt like, this is Brandon speaking, by the way. Okay. I think we all felt like, um, you know, like the emotion, the emotion in the music is just not there. And I felt like, you know, for, in terms of our history, you know, our biggest selling album um, was Jenny Heartbreak. And it was, and I felt like it connected with so many people for that reason, because it was emotional, and it was personal, and it was about relationships, which is so relatable to so many people. And we just felt like, you know, if we ever going to do a sequel to that album, which a lot of people over the years clamor for it, like, you know, be it through social media or just bumping into us in public, you know, that they wanted, they would, they would love another album like that. So we felt like now was, was really the perfect time. Absolutely. And um, I know you just said, you guys had said um, through that time of just listening, taking back to, you know, what R&B has become now. What, what, do you guys, what do you guys honestly think about what, you know, R&B music has come to now? Um, this, this is Kyle speaking. I think, you know, with, with time, you know, music's going to change. You know, like, you know, kind of, you know, coming up listening to, like, the music that my mom and my dad listening to. We're talking about the eyes, the, the staple singers. It was more like more conscious and love type of music. Then, of course, you know, music evolved. You know, then hip-hop and R&B came and then Neo Soul. So people try to put a twist on it. Mm-hmm. But, uh, I mean, I, I guess you got to accept the times. But I know as far as like, what Brandon was speaking about, um, um, we're, we're kind of conscious of the things that we do put out. You know, we want to be known as that group that come with substance. You know, right. uh, uh, R&B is definitely changed. It's, it's, it's a bit raunchy, and mm-hmm. it, it's so tagged to an R&B sound. So it's like, okay, is that R&B? That's <laughs> the country music doesn't sound like it. <laughs> so, um, I just know for our group, you know, we just try to stand out, and we definitely want to be you know, of course, that household name, that group that, you know, that still stuck with the key essence of R&B. Absolutely. And now, um, with this album, what would you what would you guys say that has been, like, the hardest struggle, um, you know, as far as, like, the studio process with everything has been? I wouldn't, I wouldn't say anything that's been a struggle. I think, um, you know, we blessed for this to be our eighth album. So I tell you, anything you do that many times, if you ain't figured it out by now, you should you should quit. Like you really yeah. should quit. <laughs> like if you if you involve yourself in a process as lengthy and as you know as as time consuming as as making an album seven other times, and you ain't figured it out, something's wrong. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, so 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 to make a long story short, we ain't really we don't really have too many issues at this point in our career. I know that's right, and that's, and that's a good thing. You know, you guys can be like, right, you know exactly. what, it, it is what it is. There ain't no struggle here. Like, you, like you've got it, because a lot of people with album to album, you'll find that they are fumbling the path when it's like, dude, you're in your ninth year, your twelfth album. What in the world are, <laughs> you know, you are you thinking? <laughs> well, you know, I think... I think we were also blessed in the fact that, you know, early, even from our first album, we always wrote everything. So it's like when you, when you, in, in terms of comparing it to other artists who just, you know, sometimes you just putting on somebody's song, it's like you're wearing somebody else's shirt. And you might wear it well, but it's still somebody else's shirt. 
as right. opposed to when you wear your own clothes, it's a certain amount of confidence. And when somebody and when somebody tell you that you look good, you know how you got that look. You know what you put together to get that look. You know what I'm saying? For sure. Now, what um, what would you say is the um the difference between um the sequel to um Heartbreak? How would you say the difference is between the first one to now is? Um, go 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 yeah, ahead. Go ahead, uh, No, you can you, you, you can tackle it. <laughs> I mean, you know, um, it's, I think more so the growth. You know, uh, the first time you do something, it's almost like, you know, you're making your first cake. Of course, you, know, you make sure, you know, you get the proper eggs, you know what I'm saying, that the ingredients, <laughs> the ingredients, the So, you know, you're a bit nervous, but you're putting your best foot forward. And you could do it in Harbor. The first one, I know that, you know what I'm saying, my team, Brandon, Brandon, Wingo, they, they couldn't focus on, okay, we licked the first one. So this second one should be pretty, you know, organized we want to go, how strong we want to go, the content of it. So, I mean, you know, once you do something that first time, that second time, you pretty feel, you know, comfortable and confident even more. You know, yeah. this time, this time yeah. we, we, we definitely want people to know that, yo, we know what we're doing. We know mm-hmm. we're doing what we just do. Definitely. But, yes, you sir. know, I think I, think, I think I can say, just to add on top of Kyle, like, you know, the... I, you know, clearly when you, also when you make a sequel, what, I guess 16 years apart, you know, music has totally changed. Yeah. So right. I guess, I guess it is a challenge, I guess, for us to keep it along the line <clears> of <throat> the heartbreak, as well as catch the new ear of the new listener as well. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So if we have one challenge, I, I think that's what it is. Definitely. And well, I definitely. see that, and I see that a lot of, you know, the '90s R&B groups are coming back, and so are you guys. Do you think that um, this, is, this is now a new trend, and a lot more groups will be coming back? What, what do you guys think about that? Because I'm with it. I do, I do. I think cause yeah. just just from a lot of these groups being our friends, I know of them. You know, a lot of them are getting ready to come back, and I think it's great for music because I feel like when everybody stepped away, whether it was on purpose or not, when everybody stepped away. The whole music scene took a turn, and it might not necessarily sure it is, sure it is. It might, it, it might not be for the worst, but I know it wasn't all the way for the best either. So right, I know that's right. So now, um, what producers did y'all work with on this album? Oh, uh, of course again. Oh, uh, what producers did y'all work with on the album? Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> the, 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 the Casey Brothers, Brown Michael Cox, and JD, baby. <laughs> yep, that's it. <laughs> no, that's yeah, it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's very low right now. We're keeping a low overhead. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. I know that's right. And what's it? And what's it like? You know, to work with those guys again on this project. Uh, I- I mean, I mean, it's like we we never we never, you know, what I'm saying we never we were apart. I mean, the chemistry is so great. It's like, we're, I mean, even though we haven't been in the studio with him with, with, with you know for a few years or whatever, it's like, you know, it feels like we were just in the studio with him last week. I mean, because the chemistry is just like that. It's like ultimately, you know, when we get in, it's all it's all about you know the 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 the, the goal at hand. You know what I'm saying? And ultimately, like we um. I mean, I think I definitely think it's going to be an incredible project because, like I said, the chemistry is incredible. That's what's up. So now, is there a video for Hope coming out soon? We shoot it. We shoot in two days. <laughs> okay. And now yeah. we actually going to, we're actually going to drop a lyric video first. Um, you know, and again, j- just to familiarize our fans with, with you know, with the with the record. You know what I mean? We want our fans mm-hmm. to be able to sing along, you know, sing the words the whole time. So we're going to do a lyric video first. And, you know, we're just going to just, you know, just, just throw that out. And then the actual the, the video with us will be, you know, coming shortly after. I know that's right. And I'm definitely looking forward to um, both the lyric video, the music video, and just the whole album. I mean, you guys have been going for a little bit, but y'all are back, and I'm just excited for the new music. 
Thank you, man. Thanks. We are too, man. We are too, man. Honestly, it's like, you know, it's a breath of fresh air just going in the studio every night, man. And, and, and like Jermaine said, he wanted to do, before we even pick with, which records are going on on the actual project, we know Hope is going on there, but well, I mean, he wants to do 50, 50, 50, 60 records, man. So, I mean, we've wow. been there every night, you know. We've, we've been there every night, like literally. And just to see, again, the chemistry is so crazy. I mean, we can get three, three, three and a half, four records done per day, you know what I'm saying, like, you know what I'm saying, so that's, Incredible. you know, that, 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 that's the rate we're working at, you know what I mean? I know that's right. Mm-hmm. Well, guys, thanks so much um for this interview. I definitely appreciate it. Nah, thank you, man. Anytime. So thank tell you. everybody, um, you know, before we have you do a drop, tell them where they can get the album, where they can find you guys as far as, like, social media is concerned. Um, our social media is um, official, official underscore J-E, and that's our um, Instagram um, um, account or whatever. And also, um, um, the actual Hope single will be out on iTunes June 17th. And, um, you know, from the very The album will be out September, like the end of September. Exactly. Nice, nice. I appreciate it, guys. If you can, yo, yo this is jagged edge. It's going all the way down. Y'all now tuned in with the Biz D, baby. Please believe it, jagged edge is in the building. <laughs>